Hey guys, how are you doing? Don't know if you remember, some of you probably do. Uh, that C-Tech material I got from knife kits. And uh, there was a knife done with it uh, in the, that last giveaway, the big giveaway. Uh, the, actually the manufacturer of the material contacted me a couple, I think week or two back, about a week back. You guys probably seen the videos of, from Tough Times already and Jason Browse because they got the little package too. And uh, they offered us, they contacted us and you know, so that we did some work with their material before. And they asked us if we would like to try some, uh, some other stuff they do. And uh, of course we're not gonna say no, we, we would love to. And uh, I've seen their table at the Blade Show and it was, it was, there was some really amazing stuff. So I was very excited about it, I wanted to check out, I wanted to buy some of them on my own. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that I will actually in future. The company is actually Composite Craft ENC. And I got the package today, and <laughs> I, got a, I was blown away, man, blown away. They sent me so much stuff, at least I think it's so much, uh, it's a lot. Now, got the seven different, eight, sorry, eight different materials, eight different pieces. All of them are big enough to make easy, easy one set of scales on really nice knives. And they are incredible. Uh, small C Tech, they call it L. No, I think it's C Tech. This is the one small, the one eighth of an inch, uh, you know, honeycomb. So it's basically it's the same thing as the one I had, but with the small diameter. And uh, as you can see, it's some really cool, really cool look to it. Check out that corner that I send it. It's gonna be sweet, you know, pretty much the same thing. This one is black combination, pretty much same as this, but with a tighter, tighter weave in that aluminum. Pretty cool. It's getting better. Check this out. This is called Matrix. I've seen this one. This was like that big thing they, they were uh, showing off at the Blade Show. And this is really cool. Uh, generally, similar concept as the c -Tech, But instead of having a uniform, you know, honeycomb structure of the aluminum, this is like random pattern spot. And you see it there. And this one is actually colored to they call it yellow, I would call this, I think it would pass for a uh, for toxic green and I think it's amazing. Now this is how it looks like when you sand it, just without any polishing. You see that exposed random matrix skin, uh, structure of the aluminum fibers inside and you see how cool it looks when you don't say or when it's polished, you know, when it's nice and glossy. Really, really cool material. One better. Same thing, little different colorings scheme, glow in the dark. How awesome is that? Same thing, you know, like the structure, when you send it, you see the same thing, but actually the epoxy that it's all held together in, glows in the dark. So, wicked, wicked cool. They have this material, which is very cool. This is pretty much carbon fiber, but one side of the carbon fiber has this, what they call fly eye. It's kind of like a fish scales or a snake scales. You know, you know how you have a texture on the G10 when you have the kind of like the factory texture on the G10. This is similar principle, but this is uh, you know kind of like polished, smooth, very interesting design. And of course, from the other side, it's just regular carbon fiber. And also, if you sand it on the corner, regular zoom focus. I mean. If you send it, you see that carbon fiber layers there. So pretty much carbon fiber, but with the textured side, which uh, and the texture is pretty cool. Another thing, regular carbon fiber from them. You guys know I actually love just regular carbon fiber. Uh, I think this is that plain weave. I don't know what they call plain weave. It looks good on the. I think it looks a little different than the carbon fiber that I had before but I do like how it looks. I think it's pretty cool You see that those layers are really nice. Another one is something what they call uh, unidirectional carbon fiber and that one is pretty sweet too. Check it out. Only if the camera was focusing faster. Come on. There you go. You see, very similar but uh, it doesn't have that weave in it. It's probably just the layers of carbon fiber and epoxy resin and uh, it's pretty cool it's gonna be nice lighting strike very expensive material very very popular on a high-end expensive knives popular and you guys seen it before it's carbon fiber with the copper uh, copper you know fibers in it 
in them and uh, once sanded and finished it just looks really really pretty and uh, it's very expensive material and then last but not least silver twill they call it differently I can't remember what they call it on the other websites from the other manufacturers it's called silver twill but I think this one is a little different because uh, this one is done kind of like a kind of like a carbon fiber at least from what I know from what I've seen you know this one when it's sanded it gives you this look kind of like a carbon fiber but I guess the structure is uh, structure is that aluminum weave so if you sand it on the different angles on the shallower angles you'll probably get more of that silver not like here when I sand it on the pretty steep angle it looks just black but uh, the whole weave should be this aluminum and it's you know a lot of people love this again uh, another pretty expensive material and uh, I couldn't be grateful more it's just so much stuff they send me it's really nice uh, of course they it's a good way to promote promote themselves and uh, I think it's nice that they they go this way because I honestly think that uh, promoting promoting the products to customers through the through the YouTube is uh, much more uh, honest from the company itself also it's uh, it's not control, you know, if the product is good they will get the good uh, positive feedback from the customers, from the reviewers, you know, from the testers and uh, I think it's a much nicer approach because it doesn't go through greedy third person the advertisement it's more more honest uh, advertising I would say and uh, I respect that, I, f I, I think uh, a lot of companies realize that uh, this is the way to go and I'm just honored that uh, they picked me as one of the couple people they they provided this stuff and I'm very happy for it uh, because I was very happy with the C-Deck I love how it looked and uh, I cannot wait to try this and couldn't come in a better time because I have the blades coming in very soon they already shipped them today all those three V blades from the last, last batch which was a uh, pretty nice number I think or 20 something 22 so have a lot of different material now to pick from to finish those so very very excited cannot wait to jump on it and do those because it's gonna be pretty sweet now with all these crazy materials at hand so check them out guys uh, I, rem I know Tough Tom said uh, Jeff said that the, their prices are very reasonable I, s I was on their website I didn't see pricing there I think you have to call up for the pricing to talk to them but I think they definitely have very very interesting materials and I like their approach to the to promoting themselves they they got it they know how to do it and uh, I couldn't agree you know I couldn't couldn't support that more so I'm very happy with that also actually got another package from a, from a fellow youtuber D-Bear the guy who chopped down the tree with the, with the CKC knife which was super awesome uh, he asked me if I would want he has some really old many many years aged uh, some kind of oak and he said he has some cross cuts and some other stuff I just want to show you the cross cut cross check out how awesome that's gonna be once I cut it to scales you know long ways for a cross cut that's gonna be some sweet handle it looks great the just such a natural you know look of that wood and all those circles I think that's gonna be incredible very very nice wood I think and very kind of shiny and that's not even polished it's just right of the right of the saw circle saw but uh, I don't know if the camera will make it just it's actually <laughs> very nice and shiny wood kind of ex excited to try that also so uh, it's nothing at least as far as I know it's nothing crazy rare but it just looks gonna look good so and also got another hookup from a friend with that letterman stuff got a couple different micras because I like micras for uh, gifts for, for friends and uh, he hooked me up with those in a little trade so hope you enjoyed the video guys like I said uh, I respect companies like this companies like Composite Craft NC because uh, I think that's the future of advertising definitely in my opinion and uh, I think more companies should realize that instead of paying paying to the fake uh, you know magazines that never can say anything wrong companies should stand behind their product and say hey I'm gonna give this away for a review because I know it's good and just that attitude is like yes this is what it should be 
not I'm gonna give this to the magazine or forum or whatever because I know they will not say anything bad about it because they just can't because that's their job and uh, if they're gonna say something bad then the business will not come back that's that that's that that's that honest in uh, YouTube that at least the way I run YouTube I I believe in YouTube and stuff like that you know and uh, I know that it doesn't work for hundred percent it does not work that way in magazine and forums and all that stuff so trust me on that <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it guys thank you for watching take care stay safe enjoy your weekend and remember don't cut yourself